I've got a 1200 watt Maxwell anchor winch motor off a friend's boat. Uh, it's been playing up for a long time. I'm going to have a look at it and see what I can find out. Yeah, I've got Terry's anchor winch motor here pulled apart and uh, I've uh, found a few little things that I'm a little bit concerned with. There's been a tiny bit of moisture in there, a bit of uh, verdigris in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But um, yeah, there's, um, and this is the, the brush holder. And I've got, I've got the brushes here. And on, the brushes should slide in and out of these holders nice and free. And some of them are all right. Like that one's fine. It slides in and out just beautifully. But this one is, is tight and it jams the brush. Right. This one here, it's fine. And this one, it's nearly impossible to get the brush in. And what it is, is the brass, these brass holders are, when they were bent in the factory, they're, um, they bind on the brush. So what I'm going to have to do is file it a little bit so the brushes go in nicely because the brushes have got to be free. I filed the, um, the brush holder, smoothed it out on both sides. And now we'll drop the brush in and see what it's like. There, the brush goes in nicely, up and down as it should. Now I'm going to clean up the, um, the housing here. There's a bit of surface rust there. I'll clean that up and give it a coat of paint. Put it all back together and uh, we'll have a good anchor winch for Terry. Generally it's all in good condition. Um, I found that um, this wire, this red wire here, was sticking out a bit, I had to push that in. It was rubbing on a brush as well. And uh, there's an O-ring here. I'll get it. An O-ring in here. And there's a little bit of corrosion on that. I'll dig it out. In behind it where a bit of moisture's got in. Uh, you can see it there. I'll clean all that up. I've got a bit of foil here, um, hacksaw blade here that I've ground down and made a bit of a scraper out of. I'll clean all this corrosion out of here. Coming away quite nicely actually. Give it a hit with a bit of degreaser. I've put the commutator in the um, in the lathe, and I'm going to clean up the commutator here a bit. I just turn it; you can see some burn marks um, on one side. I might clean it up with a bit of uh, Scotch Brite first. I ended up skimming off about a thou off the commutator. So that's all as new now. I cleaned all the rust off mechanically with a wire brush and uh, I've given it a, um, 
a coat of rust converter here. We'll let that dry overnight. Tomorrow I'll give it an etch primer and a top coat. I'll finish the motor. I'll put it in the vise here on the bench with a bit of paper around it to protect it. And uh, I'm just going to give it a test run. I've got a 12 volt battery here. So uh, we'll just see what it does. <laughs> That's forward. Goes, goes like a champion. Job done.